my friends. How are you all doing? I'm doing all right. I've been uh, extremely busy over the past while, but uh, I'm starting to get back into a normal routine now. I've uh, also endured a, a lot of stress over the past while, but uh, I'm starting to feel somewhat better now, so that's great. Okay, so this video is entitled Black Metal for Beginners. Okay, so for those of you who are just starting to get into black metal, or for those of you who are curious about black metal, this uh, video is for you, okay? So I have a list of 20 black metal bands. I consider these bands to be great black metal bands to get into if you're just starting to get into black metal or if you're curious about black metal, okay? So I'm going to go through this list of 20 black metal bands and I'm going to present an album from each of these bands as well, okay? So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first band that I'm going to mention is uh, Venom. Venom are a very legendary band. They're from uh, Britain. They formed in 1979. They are still uh, active. Okay, so Venom are actually part of the whole new wave of British heavy, heavy metal movement, but uh, they're quite a bit different from uh, most of those bands. They're definitely much more raw and uh, much more evil sounding than most of those bands, okay? I know that some people will say that Venom isn't necessarily black metal, and I suppose that is somewhat true, but uh, to me this is more or less where black metal started, okay? All right, so the album that I'm going to show you is um, Black Metal. This was released in 1982, okay? So this is where the genre would have got its name from. Okay, so Venom are just an incredible band uh, and a very, very important band for black metal, okay? All right, so that is Venom. Okay. The next band is uh, Celtic Frost, another very legendary band. They are from uh, Switzerland. They are no longer around, but they released a lot of great, great albums. Okay, so Celtic Frost would be considered to, like, to be like... Um, First wave black metal, same as Venom. Okay, yeah, this is uh, where metal was starting to get uh, more evil sounding, and uh, yeah, Celtic Frost uh, did so much for metal, and they also incorporated so many different elements and uh, had a, a lot of progressive aspects to their music as well. Okay, very great band. Okay, so the album that I'm going to show you is um, To Mega Therion. This was released in 1985. Yeah, great band, okay? Celtic Frost. All right. So the next band that I'm going to mention is uh, Bathory. Very legendary band from out of uh, Sweden. Okay, one man black metal band. Bathory would also could be considered to be like first wave black metal. I know a lot of people would say that Bathory is the first true black metal band and I suppose that could be true. Very great band, that's for sure. Okay, released so many great albums. All right, the album that I'm going to show you is um, Under the Sign of the Black Mark. This was released in 1987. Very, very legendary, very classic black metal album. Okay, so yeah, Bathory, very, very essential band for black metal. All right. Okay, the next band that I'm going to mention is Mayhem, another very, very legendary band. Uh, yeah, there's so much that has been written about this band. I'm not going to get into that, but uh, you can check all that out. Very notorious band, okay, was involved with so many interesting affairs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but uh, yeah, just an incredible band that has released so many great uh, albums. Uh, they're still around, still putting out uh, great music, okay. Uh, the album that I'm going to mention is this one right here. This is De Mysterious Dom Satanas. This was released in 1994, okay. Very legendary album, uh, without a doubt, one of the, the best black metal albums of all time. Very, very essential. Okay, so that is Mayhem. All right, next band is uh, Burzum. Okay, another band that is uh, very legendary. And uh, again, I'm not going to get into all the details here. You can read up about all this. And so much has been written about Burzum and 
the the man behind uh, Burzum, Varg Vikernes. There's so much that has been written about him. I'm, I, like I said, I'm not going to get into all this, but uh, yeah, he, he was involved with uh, some interesting, yeah, some interesting things. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, great, great band. Uh, he released uh, some very good albums. That's for sure. Okay, so the album that I'm going to mention is. Uh, Philosophem. This was released in 1996. Okay, so Burism. Yeah, definitely check Burism out. All right. Okay, another band that I'm going to mention is Dark Throne, a very essential band uh, from Norway. They are part of the whole second wave of black metal. This is a band that has released so many albums, uh, and they have changed their style somewhat throughout the years but uh, yeah very very important band for black metal okay all right so the album that I'm going to show you is uh, Transylvanian Hunger this was released in 1994 okay so yeah Dark Throne definitely check this band out another band out of Norway Emperor okay great great band they definitely have more of that uh, symphonic black metal style yeah, one of my favorite black metal bands. I just enjoy their music so much. Uh, yeah, there certain members of this band were also involved with uh, you know some criminal activities. Uh, once again, I'm not going to get into all this, but you can read up on all these events that took place back in the early to mid '90s in Norway. But uh, yeah, Emperor released so many great albums, okay? But uh, the album that I'm going to mention is this one right here. This is Al Anthems to the Welkin at Dust. This was released in 1997, okay? So yeah, Emperor, great, great band. Definitely check them out. Okay, another band out of Norway is uh, Immortal. Such a great band that has released so many great albums. I definitely enjoy Immortals music quite a bit. I have quite a few of their albums and uh, yeah, such a great, great band, okay? And uh, the album that I'm going to show you is um, this one right here. This is Battles in the North. This was released in 1995. I believe this is their third full-length album. Yeah, definitely a very, very essential album if you're getting into black metal, okay? All right, Immortal, check them out. All right, so the next band Again, another Norwegian band, another classic Norwegian band, uh, Sitericon. Okay, such a great band. Uh, they have changed their, style, their styles somewhat uh, throughout the years, but uh, they're still releasing great albums in my opinion, and uh, uh, such a great, great band. I enjoy their music a lot. Uh, okay, so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, Nemesis. Divina, this was released in 1996. I believe this is their third full-length album. Yeah, very, very good album, okay? So, Satyricon, another great band to check out, okay? All right, so the next band that I'm going to mention is uh, Dissection. This is a very legendary uh, Swedish band. Um, they didn't release that many albums. They only released three full-length albums. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Dissection. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, they're no longer around anymore. Uh, John Nortevit, who was the main man behind uh, Dissection, he was involved with, with involved with some uh, criminal activities, and he did go to prison for some time. You can read up on this, and uh, unfortunately, he did commit suicide. And uh, yeah, very unfortunate. But he he left behind some great great music and. Uh, Dissection are just such an essential black metal band, okay? Alright, so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, Storm of the Lights Bane. This was released in 1995. Great, great album. Definitely check this one out if you're getting into black metal. Okay. Alright, another band out of uh, Sweden is uh, Dark Funeral, okay? Uh, I got a few Dark Funeral albums. Uh, yeah, very... Great, great band out of uh, Sweden, and uh, they've released uh, quite a lot of great albums, okay? So, yeah, great stuff. Okay, so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, The Secrets of the Black Arts. This was released in 1996. Yeah, this is considered to be one of their best albums, so, so yeah, definitely check this album out if you're going to get into Dark Funeral. Okay, so yeah, Dark Funeral, another great band to check out. Okay, a personal favorite of mine, Cradle of Filth. 
yeah I just enjoy this band so much uh, I have all of their full-length albums really really great band I know certain people within the black metal community like to talk trash about them for whatever reason but uh, you know what they put out really really good quality black metal okay it's just really top-notch stuff so I don't understand what the hate is all about but yeah you get those certain people within the the black metal community and it's kind of uh, unfortunate but uh, yeah Cradle of Filth they put out uh, so much so much great music okay so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, Dusk and Her Embrace this was released in 1996 yeah great album so yeah definitely check out uh, Cradle of Filth okay the next band that I'm going to mention is uh, Dimmu Borger this is another band out of um, Norway this is another band that people like to hate on for whatever reason uh, I suppose some people feel like they sort of took the black metal style into more of a commercial direction and I suppose there is a certain amount of truth to that but uh, you know what Dimmu Borger put out really really high quality black metal and uh, yeah they have so many great albums and I enjoy their music quite a bit so I definitely recommend getting into them if you're getting into black metal okay so the album I'm, that I'm going to mention is uh, Enthroned Darkness Triumphant this was released in 1997 yeah such a great great album okay so Dimmu Borger definitely check them out if you're starting to get into black metal Alright, so the next band that I'm going to mention is uh, Alcest. Alcest are a band out of uh, France. Um, yeah, so they have more of that, what would be referred to as uh, like post-black metal or black gaze. So yeah, this particular style of black metal tends to get quite a bit of flack from uh, the black metal purists, okay? And you know, I can understand why. It definitely has more of a a commercial type of sound a lot of these black gaze bands tend to have more of a major key type of sound to them but uh, yeah it's still I still can enjoy some of the post black metal and black gaze stuff um, there are certain bands that I can enjoy and uh, so yeah the, the album that I'm going to mention from Alcest is uh, Kill De Lune this was released in 2010 great album I've listened to this one a fair bit throughout the years and uh, yeah I can definitely enjoy it okay so that's Alcest all right check them out the next band that I'm going to mention is Deaf Heaven this is another band that is within the post black metal or black gay style yeah you know this is uh, a band that tends to get a lot of flack as well and I suppose I can understand uh, their sound is definitely more commercial sounding but it's uh, if you're just starting to get into black metal it's a, a good gateway okay that's for sure um, you know I don't mind this band they're okay and uh, I know a lot of people really enjoy them but like I said good band to get into if you just get into black metal because um, yeah it's a little bit more accessible than a lot of the other black metal bands out there okay so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, new Bermuda this was released in 2015 okay so that's Deaf Heaven all right, check them out. Okay, another band that I'm going to mention is Agalosh. Okay, Agalosh or a band out of the U.S. Um, they definitely have more of a, I suppose, sort of like a post-black metal type of sound. Maybe sort of like folk black metal, I suppose. Um, yeah, a lot of folk elements in their music. Uh, pretty good stuff, actually, but uh, definitely a little bit different from a lot of the other black metal that's out there um, yeah I can definitely appreciate some of their music okay a good band to get into if you're just starting to get into black metal definitely a little bit more accessible that's for sure okay so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, The Mantle this was released in 2002 okay so that's Agalosh okay so the next band that I'm going to mention is Enslaved this is another classic band out of Norway such an amazing band to have all their full-length albums definitely one of my favorite bands I yeah I just enjoy their music so much I definitely recommend getting into this band okay uh, yeah a band that that has changed their style somewhat throughout the years they definitely have progressed so much and uh, are still putting out so many great albums uh, such a consistent band uh, yeah really really good stuff I highly recommend checking this band out okay all right, so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, Isa. This was released in 2004. 
all right so enslaved yeah definitely check them out okay so the next band that i'm going to mention is uh, another band out of norway uh their their name is uh, bork nagar okay such a great band uh, this is another band that uh, has uh, evolved throughout the years uh, very progressive sounding uh, somewhat similar to enslaved this is a band that is uh, put out so many great albums such a consistent band as well very unique very progressive sounding yeah very very good stuff a personal favorite of mine that's for sure okay I have quite a few of their albums so the album that I'm going to mention is uh, True North this was released in 2019 this is their most recent album really really good stuff I'm very impressed with this album okay so that's Bork Nagar definitely check them out okay so the next band that I'm going to mention is uh, Summoning uh, Summoning are one of those uh, uh, cult favorites okay uh, certain people really in much uh, I'm not too familiar with them to be honest uh, I know they sometimes are labeled as dungeon synth which is a particular style of black metal um, but I know a lot of people really enjoy them they have sort of like like I said sort of like a cult following okay so the album that I will mention or present to you is uh, this one right here this is uh, let more mortal heroes sing your fame this was released in 2001 yeah I've listened to this one a fair bit really good stuff summoning a band that uh, you should definitely check out okay so the last band that I'm going to mention is a band that I just absolutely love one of my favorite uh, black metal bands that's for sure um, that is uh, Wolves in the Throne Room, okay? This is a band out of uh, Olympia, Washington, uh, USA. And uh, they put out some really, really good albums. They definitely have more of that sort of like atmospheric black metal style. Very, very interesting sound. Uh, yeah, really good stuff. I enjoy their music uh, so much. Uh, yeah, okay, so um, the album that I'm going to present to you from them is uh, this one right here. This is uh, Black Cascade. This was released in 2009. This would be my favorite album from them. Yeah, really good stuff. So yeah, definitely check out Wolves in the Throne Room. All right, so that is my list of uh, 20 black metal bands to get into if you're just starting to get into black metal or if you're curious about black metal. Okay, so black metal for beginners. Okay, so I think that's a pretty solid list that I presented there. Okay, so that is uh, 20 black metal bands to check out if you're just starting to get into black metal or if you're curious about black metal. Okay, of course, there are so many other bands that I can mention, but uh, I think that's a pretty solid list that I did there okay so yeah let me know what you think uh, I'm always curious to know what you guys think so if you could leave some uh, comments I would really appreciate it okay all right so I want to say thank you very much for watching and I want to say thanks to all the people who watch my videos and subscribe to my channel I really truly appreciate it okay take care my friends cheers